Hello everyone, this is Lillian and it's time for our three minutes with the word audio devotional. Today's topic is starve the flesh and our anchor scripture is taken from the book of Romans chapter 8 and verse 13. For if you live according to the flesh, you will die. But if by the spirit you put to death the deeds of the body, you will live. Our anchor scripture from the book of Romans highlights two spiritual outcomes that every human being can choose from. Choice A, death. And choice B, life. The Bible says if a person lives according to the flesh, such a person will die. I'm thinking that this is not the choice of anyone listening to me this morning. So I will focus more on the second option. Option B says if you do not want death, you need to, by the Spirit of God, put to death the deeds of the body. Let's see if we can unpack this in the next one or two minutes. First, if you read from the start of Romans 8, you will see that the first option is not actually an option for the believer or for the one who has put their faith in Jesus. In other words, for the believer, life is the only option. But option B, this option of life, isn't actually that straightforward. The scripture shows us that if we must access this life, something must die. And it is our responsibility to put that thing to death. The scripture doesn't stop there. It makes us understand also that putting whatever we need to put to death to death is not something we can do in our own strength. So it gives us a pointer as to who we can outsource to help us in this putting to death. The scripture says, but if by the spirit you put to death the deeds of the body, you will live. We are on the authority of scripture expected to put to death the deeds, the doings, the inclinations of the flesh. If you read this scripture in tandem with Colossians 3, 5 to 11, and indeed many other scriptures scattered all over the Bible, you will understand this concept better. When you notice certain inclinations like lust, addiction, unforgiveness, gossips, gossiping, sorry, or talking too much, or even things as seemingly benign as not acknowledging God in the things that you do. You are to, by the help of the Holy Spirit, put them to death. It is your responsibility. Do not continue to pamper or hide evil. I often tell the story of a time many years ago, a friend of mine got called to do a job. I found myself happy for her, yet I could sense that I envied her. I was so shocked that I could feel envy. I'm being very honest. I didn't think that I had such in me. That incident showed me that there are many latent inclinations of the flesh. So please never boast about what you can or cannot do. Just trust God and thank him for grace. I ran immediately into a fast and I cried to God to help me kill such fleshly inclinations. Someone listening to me cannot resist gossiping when some people call them. You need to put that inclination to death. You can starve things to death, you know. So while you are praying, stay away from the phone calls of people who lure you into gossiping. If you are addicted to drinking, fast, pray, but also stay away from pubs or stay away from people who invite you to hang out where alcohol will be consumed. The Spirit of God is there to help you. Put to death the deeds of the body. Let us pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, thank you so much for your word. Continue to take all the glory, almighty God. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Speak to you again soon. If you are blessed, please drop me a line on audio devotional at yahoo.com or on our website at www.3minutesaudiodevotional.com. You could also follow us on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, and Twitter at 3 Minutes Audio Devotional. Remember, wrapped up in God's word is all you need for your change to come. Love you and bye.